Hi guys, and welcome to the Golden Pathways Rune Chakra Meditation Series. This is our seventh in this series, and tonight we're going to talk about the Crown Chakra. Um, I want to go ahead and briefly talk about some other energies that are going on right now. It is the new moon, and it is a great time right now for us to since it is new moon in cancer and cancers are very in touch with their emotions and very emotional um, and this is a good thing we will be bringing up a lot of old feelings or feelings about things that are happening with relationships in our lives and we need to go ahead and process and honor our feelings and relationships <clears throat> and not feel like and none of our feelings are bad, none of our, you know, process what our bodies, minds, hearts, spirits are telling us. So this is the time of the new moon to start something new and wonderful. And the crown chakra energy is also the connecting with the divine energy, um, the energy of purple, which is very, very um, much a gratitude color. So we're going to go ahead and briefly talk about what the chakras are. Um, there are seven main chakra centers or energy centers down the center of your body. Um, we're all very energetic creatures and we run basically, basically on these energy centers. So the first center at the bottom is associated with the color red and you will notice that the chakras of themselves correlate with the colors of the rainbow. And the root chakra is red and it is at the base of our spine and it helps us to feel connected with Mother Earth and grounded and secure in this earthly um, situation that we're in. The next chakra up is our sacral chakra and it is associated with the color orange and it helps us to feel passionate and creative. So this is allowing ourselves to be um, not only connected with Mother Earth but allow all that energy to flow from ourselves out into the universe. The next chakra up is the solar plexus and it is associated with the color yellow and um, it helps us to stay confident and assured in ourselves. So it's very much a connected to the earthly ways, um, that chakra. The next chakra up is our heart chakra and it's right in our sternum bone and it has to do with the color green and feeling love and being loved. Um, so it's a, it's a two-way street, as all the chakras are. They, they run from the front to the back, and they spin, and they bring great energies in. The next chakra is our throat chakra, and it is associated with the color blue, and it helps us to speak our truth and to hear and know our truth when we hear it. So it also is correlated with our ears and our throat. Um, the next chakra up is our third eye, which is right here. It's the pineal gland, and it helps us to stay connected to not only our intuition, but also our thought processes and stay mind, um, heart, spirit, body, all of those things connected in our thought processes. And lastly, the one we're going to work on tonight is our crown chakra, and that is associated with the color purple. And it's a very divine color. Purple is like a a very royal color, a very, um, we're bringing in the energies of the divine with that. So let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath. Call back all parts of yourself. Don't let your mind wander. Bring all this energy back into your heart right now and feel grounded and centered. Take a nice deep breath and let any tension out of your body. Feel yourself getting lighter and lighter. And we're going to go ahead and visualize a beautiful golden cord coming out of our root chakra. And we're going to send that energy down, down through the earth, down to the beautiful center of Mother Earth, which we're going to see a beautiful crystal ball there. And we're going to go ahead and connect to that beautiful energy of Mother Earth and feel the stress leaving our body, feel us connected and safe and secure. That's the root chakra energy that we're feeling. Go ahead and spend just a moment there. Take a nice deep breath. 
Feel that divine connected Mother Earth energy on this beautiful new moon. And we're going to go ahead and bring that energy up into our root chakra. And we're going to see the beautiful color red. And we're going to feel connected with Mother Earth. We're going to feel safe and secure. We're going to feel taken care of. We're going to feel all our needs are being met. Our earthly needs. And these can also include our spiritual needs, which we're going to, which we're working on tonight. Bring that energy up into your sacral chakra. See that beautiful orange color. Let your passions think about what you're truly passionate about and how creativity can help to bring that groundedness and passion into your life. Now we're going to go ahead and bring that energy up into our solar plexus. Feel that bright yellow energy there. And we're going to bring that beautiful golden yellow energy out around and fill our aura to bring us protection from negative energies or things that we don't want in our lives. Um, the new moon, we're going to be releasing all that we don't want because it's the end of the waning moon cycle and the beginning of the waxing moon where we're bringing in energy. So now we're going to start something new. Feel that energy of protection around you. And go ahead and take another deep breath and bring the energies up into your heart chakra and that beautiful color green. See that beautiful green lotus flower opening up, allowing us to give and receive love. And then we're going to bring that energy up into our throat chakra and see the beautiful blue color on our throat chakra. And go ahead and bring the energy up into our third eye. And that's an indigo color energy, which is like a blue purple or blurple. And we're going to allow ourselves to feel divine and connected. And now we're going to reach our crown chakra and see that beautiful purple color. And I'm going to bring some energy of that in, in this beautiful singing bowl. Open up that crown chakra, allow us to be connected to the divine energies. Clear out any stuck energy that's keeping us from being connected to our divine self. And tonight I'm going to go ahead and light a little bit of um, sweet grass to bring some great energies in for us. And let that feel your beautiful crown chakra. Bring that energy in. Remove any stuck energies that we have in there. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in our rune energies for tonight. Let's wave away any stuck energy in our crown chakra. And tonight I have three runes. The first rune, and they're all from my, um, let's see if I can get that to focus, my Eye of Horus runes. And the first one is Dagaz. And what it means is the dawn. This is the dawn of a new beginning. It's perfect for the energy of the new moon. It is perfect. We're going to go ahead and bring Dagaz into our crown chakra. Help us to connect and allow in new opportunities. Allow in new energies. Release all the things that are no longer serving us so we have room for these great new energies that are coming into our lives. And the next energy I'm going to bring in tonight, also from my Eye of Horus runes, is Ing. And Ing actually means the angel. And so we're going to go ahead and bring the angel energy into these new beginnings that we're adventuring on. So we're going to call upon the angel energy, the archangels, the ascended masters, the divine light, 
whoever you want to call upon to bring energy into your life. And we're going to put that in, it's like a double X, which is like love twice. Like XX, you know how you put XXO on your, when you sign something to send love to someone. And we're going to bring in that beautiful angel energy into our divine crown chakra and help us to stay divinely connected. The last rune I'm going to bring in tonight, I have three. It's also from my Eye of Horus rune um, set that I painted. And it is Seagull, which actually means the sun. So being that it is the summer solstice and we are divinely connected with the summer and sun energy, Seagull, we are going to go ahead and bring Seagull into your crown chakra and help us feel the warmth and beauty of summer, the growth of our intentions, bring the new moon energy to bring that growth of our um, new intentions and set them clearly so we know what we truly want in our lives. And it's as, it's as that um, cancer energy in the new moon brings up our hidden emotions and things that we need to deal with, we're going to go ahead and release that, process it, respect and honor how we feel, recognize that we're being told information from these energies, and allow ourselves to accept these new beginning energies. Dag, the dawn, Ing, the beautiful angel energy, and Seagull, the sun who shines so brightly down upon us and brings us the warmth and loving energy from the divine light. Um, the the uh, horoscope, the zodiac sign for this, the crown chakra, is Leo. And Leo is very divinely connected and very, very um, emotional and strong. So they're, they're represented by the lion with that strong energy. The sun, the lion, that bright yellow color, it's great. Go ahead and bring a little bit more of our music in to clear out any stuck energy. Allow those runes to enter into your beautiful crown chakra with that purple energy. I also have tonight some beautiful amethyst. And amethyst is a great rune, or a great, I'm sorry, a great crystal to use for, for your crown chakra, for crown chakra energy. This is a beautiful uh, pyramid-shaped amethyst that I have. Um, the other uh, smell is lavender. If I have my lavender, I had it right here. Um, I don't have it with me, but lavender is a great high vibing, very cleansing smell to use to open up your crown chakra. You know how that lavender smells. I'm going to go ahead and bring that lavender energy in, bring the seagull in, bring the angel energy in, bring the day, the dawn of the new day into your crown chakra and feel that energy. So now we have gone through all the chakras the whole way up. We are connected to the divine and we are connected to Mother Earth. I'm going to light a little bit more to bring some more great energy from my sweet grass, which um, different smokes that you use can do different energies, clearing and the sweet grass brings in positive energy. So we're going to bring some great positive energy into your crown chakra on this new moon and allow us to bring in new energies of new beginnings, new day, the beautiful sun energy from the solstice. And um, so I want you to go ahead and put forth your intentions that you have for this next moon cycle. This will run till the next um, full moon. We're going to go ahead and bring in energies for the next couple of weeks and send out energies and actions towards your intentions. We're going to manifest things into our lives. So we're going to go ahead and bring this 
amethyst energy in to our beautiful crown chakra. Send that energy out to you. Feel it opening up and clearing out. We're going to wave away any of that ex uh, negative energy that may have been stuck in your crown chakra and send it to the divine to clear out. We're calling the angel energy to clear and take away any of those negative um, processes that were going on in our chakra and keep us connected to the divine. So we're going to go ahead and bring that energy back down from our purple crown chakra to indigo in our third eye to blue in our throat chakra to our heart chakra, the beautiful green color down to our solar plexus with the yellow Bring that beautiful yellow energy around us, surrounding us to keep us safe and secure. Down to our sacral chakra with the beautiful orange energy of passion and creativity. That's our sensual selves, our very um, passionate selves. And then down into our root chakra with the beautiful red color and connect ourselves back down through the bottom of our feet roots out, connect with the energies of Mother Earth, all the energies of the trees and the plants, and we're going to go the whole way down to that beautiful crystal ball of Mother Earth in the middle of her heart and ground ourselves back and feel all that beautiful chakra energy all cleared out and that, that high vibing amethyst that we brought in that will keep us connected divinely. And take a nice deep breath. And feel yourself grounded and connected. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my Tibetan bowl. Bring in that beautiful lavender smell. And I hope you feel great. I hope you feel that beautiful crown chakra energy and all your chakras are cleared and connected. You are grounded. You are safe. You are passionate and creative. You are confident and strong. You are loved and loving. You can speak and hear your truth. You can see with divine thoughts and you are connected divinely to the angels to the divine, uh, to the source of all that is, whatever, whatever connection you want to have is what your divine light is. So thank you so much for coming. This is the seventh in my series of seven rune chakra meditations. I am going to continue to do meditations on a regular basis um, with the full moon and the new moon, and I'll bring in chakra and um, also, strong rune energies that correlate to each of these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put these out on my uh, YouTube so you can listen to them anytime you like. Um, you can go through the whole series of them or, you know, do one a day or however you like to clear out your chakras. And then I will continue, like I said, to do this on the full moon and the new moon. I'll try to stop in. Usually I do Saturday night. Unfortunately, tonight I had to do Sunday. But thank you all for coming. Um, I have a new computer, so I'm a little awkward trying to do technical. Um, but it's worked out pretty good. So I appreciate your patience and love and light to all of you. And blessed be. Have a great night.